Here's five reasons why you're not getting in shape. Number one, your knowledge on what is a good diet consists of food that you don't enjoy. You go from eating burgers and pizzas and drinking alcohol regularly to then completely going cold turkey on those bad foods. The average person can't stick to these sort of diets that consist of just chicken and broccoli. So eventually they crash and then they go on these massive binges. So if you cut out all the bad foods, yeah, it's going to lead to drastic weight loss. But eventually, if you can't stick to it, and you go back to eating those bad foods again, that's gonna lead to drastic weight gain. And this yo-yo effect repeats for, well, years. Number two, you've been doing the same classes for years. Look, classes are a great way for you to introduce yourself into the gym. But just like kindergarten, you don't wanna stay there too long. It's time to move on and do something that's more best suited for your goals, not something generic. Number three, you've never invested money into your goals. So you regularly spend money on things that are detrimental to your goal rather than things that influence you getting in shape and healthy. You know, you go to expensive dinners, drink alcohol regularly, go on these luxurious holidays and spend money on all these fancy clothes. But then you complain that personal training and gym memberships are too expensive. Number four, you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. And look, that's fine. But you need to be aware of it so that you can address it. With all the information out there on fitness, gym, and training, it's very easy to get lost into reading something that is misinformation. You know, every couple of months there's a new fad diet. There's some new infomercial talking about some bogus fitness equipment. So to avoid getting lost, approach someone who's experienced and qualified and ask for help. Number five, you hang around with people that lead you into a stray. If all your friends go to the gym and eat relatively well, and when you catch up, you might go do the Bondi to Kuji walk, then you will be more likely to do the same. But if all your friends go out and drink and eat shit and party all the time, and if you try and say no to going and doing those things because you know that it's gonna affect your health and your goals, they judge you, then you are gonna be more likely to carry those same bad habits. So you're a product of your environment, so choose your friends wisely.